13 News Now is back with a major deal negotiated between Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin and Monumental Sports and Entertainment. If that business sounds familiar, it's because it's the name of the arena for both the Washington Capitals and the Wizards. Sports Director Brian Smith joins us to break the deal down. Hey, Brian. Monumental is correct. Yes, Virginia, you will have a professional franchise in the Commonwealth. Even better, you'll get two. A tentative agreement between Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin and Ted Leonsis, the owner of the Wizards and Capitals, was made this morning. Now, the proposal, should it get approved by the state legislature, would create a two billion dollar development in Alexandria just south of D.C. It will be the first ever franchise for the state itself that includes a new Wizards practice facility, a separate performing arts center, media studio, new hotels, convention center, as well as housing and shopping. Now, the facility itself could generate $12 billion over the state uh, as well as Alexandria's region and created about 30,000 jobs. As we mentioned, the governor ecstatic over this deal. And this spectacular sports and entertainment district will be at the heart of the most vibrant innovation corridor in the world. A corridor that starts at Amazon HQ2 in Arlington and stretches through the Virginia Tech Innovation Campus and will find its anchor here in Alexandria. Now, we mentioned one other note as far as the Virginia Squires. They were a former team that was based in Virginia. But as for now, Washington Mystics, they will stay put. Now, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser did have a counterproposal last night that would have directed a half a billion dollars to renovate Capital One Arena, where both teams currently play. Uh, Mayor Bowser said that was their best and final offer. So I guess $2 billion trumps $500 million anytime. Brian Smith, 13 News Now. Well, that's